So you wrap it around the vie and loop the whole line through the center so it attaches it to the vine. Now, once you put, put that through, you just have the line lie flat on the vie, so you don't have it twisted or anything. Um, and where that loop is, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, if we were to put that loop on the bottom and come start this way where it's doubled over, that, that works. As long as it doesn't slip and if you get it nice and tight, in this particular case, I'm gonna just go straight from here. It doesn't, you know, as long as it's tight, you don't want it to slip, whatever you're doing. And what we do is we do, we like to do, or what I suggest doing, is just do at least do one wrap here before you start the crisscrossing stuff. What that does is it allows us to get the pads in place, measure, and lock it all down so it's not gonna move a lot. When we start rigging. Pass in place. Go ahead and get the tape measure and measure it out. The distance. Yeah. See, so you can see if we needed to inch it in or inch it out, we could do that. And all I have to do is pull this up, and it locks it down. So. We, I like to, we like to call or we, we just say these are waterfalls, ones that go straight up and down, a waterfall wrap. So now we're going to start the, the real rigging where we crisscross. So we come up the back and we just crisscross. He's going to take one, I'll take the other. In terms of ease, this one's harder than that one because he's got to open in to, to do things I have a tackle. So that guy will always usually go faster. So go ahead and tail this out. Just drop it in the boat and, and kind of separate them. So here's where having good tailors helps. Tailor meaning the person who's pull, just pulling the line through the pukas. Because if they can stay one step ahead, they know which side to pull the line to. And it goes faster. Okay, so we're going to cross over the yako, go through the puka. Inside or the outside? Inside. Never mind. <laughs> so some uncles will tell you when you tighten these, only pull down. Don't pull up. So through the puka, tighten, go around the yako from the bottom side, don't come over the top. Back through the puka. So I tighten that one, and I'm going to tighten this one down. I'm not going to stretch much because there's not much to stretch there, right? Go over the top, far side of the waterfall. Tail. Like so? Far side, yep. 
Okay, so remember where we talked about um, symmetry and alternating? Here, see, you should always look for alternating. He, I'm going on top of his, he's coming on top of mine. You can see, let's say, I went first. I wasn't patient enough and I started. Or, uh, he went first and he started laying his next one. Then I come across, see how that's not alternating? Yeah. So it matters who goes first here. Because you always want things to be alternating. That helps lock it down. So if you end up with uh, the line parallel to the other one, you know something's a little screwy. Did you guys swap lines or you're still the same line? Same, I have my same line okay. for this whole thing. Okay. Now when we run the second one through the puka, there, there is a little bit of uh, philosophy there. If you run the line, the next line underneath and pull up, you see how it locks the one underneath it? When you tighten it, you know, it's gonna lock this one down versus you have two choices, going on the outside like this or going underneath. So I've always been taught to go underneath and then that way when you pull it, it locks the one underneath. In terms of here, the aesthetics, and again, purely aesthetics to get this guy in the middle. Yeah. and it's purely aesthetics and I'll show you why later let me, let me get caught up Behind. any questions so far this is pretty straightforward some people don't bother with this waterfall they just immediately start crisscrossing that's okay too I just find it's helps me line up everything e more easily. Sorry, I had to back up. Wait for him. You can go here, far side. spiral left in it from the coil. Yep. Am I going around? Sometimes if you're not paying attention, they, they come up. So okay. Like that. This is kind of they came up. But you got to ask yourself, is it going to hold? Yes, it's, it's okay. going to hold. But is it going? It might loosen a little bit. Now where am I going? We're going to finish with. We should have enough line for four. Okay. So we're at three now. But, you know, like I said, three minimum. So you could go paddling. You're in a hurry. You could go paddling. Let me straighten this line out. If okay. You yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. 
these ones to remember. Just tell them to do it. Just tell them to remember. Yeah. Yeah, count on that. Maybe it's the rough place where we'll move on. Maybe we can stay. I'll stay with you and see one. We can do that one together so they match. It's going to bother me if they're not matching. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> See you, Jen. See ya. So, yeah. Well, let's just. No, we're stopping at four and six. So. Yeah, let's see. Four, four, four. Yeah, see, that would be five. So, we've done so four. Okay. So, now we do another We do another waterfall. Okay. When we have the four. So, here's where we trade. You take mine, I take yours. And we're just going to go straight up and down. Now, these don't have to be super tight, but they need to be snug. And you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so if you look, four here, four here, four here, four here, four, four, four. We're all good, right? Everything all symmetrical. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap horizontal wraps like we did around the uh, Yako to Ama. We're going to go horizontally here. So what you do is you say one person goes high and one person low. And you'll see why that is. So you can, you can choose. You want to go high or go low? High. High? Okay, then I'll go low. So this is a one at a time sort of thing. So I'm going to go low, so I'm going to put my line through here. And we're going to start horizontal wraps here. So we're going to go around the waterfall. But I'm low, so if I wrap, every time I wrap, I'm going to put my line below the one that was there before. And when you wrap, you only want to get one or two at the most. So I, I've got one in the front, two on the back. I'm going to stop there. You don't need a lot to start with. So when you go, I go, you're gonna go back through the puka. Through here? Yeah. Okay. And when you wrap, you're gonna wrap high because you want it high. So when you wrap, you're gonna just go above your line each time. Please get one wrap so you have one wrap now. Good, but I'm going to send you on that side. So go one more. So you have two on both sides. I have two on the back side, one on the front side. Okay. And then you're going to stand over by Andrew and be ready. Okay. So you can see everything's laid flat, right? Mine's winding down, this is winding up. When we pull this, we're going to pull in opposite directions. And this one's a one, two, three, yank at the same time sort of thing, and even foot up on the, <laughs> on the Yakko, okay? And we, it is important that we pull at the exact same time okay. and pull just, you know, horizontally. Okay, you call it? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So oh, you wow. see what that does? It tightens your waterfall and builds up. You want this to lay as flat as possible. That's why we do high and low, and we did an okay job, but you know, as flat as it can be is the best, but it's okay. It's, it's not going to go anywhere. So we don't put too many wraps because that's a lot of friction. So we're going to do this twice. So I'm going low. And I have You're going to cinch twice? Yeah. Wait that for was, him. Oh, that was just the initial one. Okay. So now I have, I have three, two, one. 
So you go do go yours. High. You go high. Wrap up at least one or two. So now you have two. That's your third one starting. Go around. Okay, we're going to do this again. You call it? One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to pass mine up to you. In the front here. And tie a square knot. Just those two together. together. Okay. Yep. It's a square, but you just pulled this way. Okay, so then that you're done. Uh, in Hawaii, we call that one uh, our regular knot. Then we do what's called a tourist knot. So we put another set back here, another square knot, which obviously it's for show, right? The other one's the one that's holding any tension. We call this one the tourist knot because we then put our ba balers here and stick the line under here to hold the baler. And whenever you say, tourist, hand me the baler, they undo this knot. So we call it the tourist knot. So you guys are only having- How do you do the baler? Okay, do you, do the baler? Do, do you have baler? a baler? We just put the handle on. Oh, hand it. So here's, here's an important thing. Uncle told me always put the baler facing.